Louisiana beer reviews, blank check, or Carta Blanca. Made in Mexico since 1890. It uh, is brewed and bottled by Cerveceria Quantemoc Montezuma, uh, which is actually owned by Heineken International. But this brand has been out since 1890. <clears throat> it is um, 4.5% alcohol. It gets a poor rating on rate beer. It gets a C on Beer Advocate. The Bros gave it a C. I gave it a B plus. It gets a fine rating on the beer and me. They say it's an American adjunct lager, but I don't think it's made with, it, with any adjuncts. My, I think it's made with water, malt hops and yeast <clears throat> but I'm gonna f try to figure that out in the taste and it says on the bottle mas de un siglo de, de fina tradición cerveceria which I think means uh, the mas de un siglo de fina the sign of a a better beer and it's a beer tradition won some awards 1994 and 1893 something like that all right um so let's see what this heineken brand from mexico is like uh, like i said i had it before but i try to be open-minded <laughs> and make a fair do a fair beer review didn't don't see any smoke careful pouring out of this quart bottle okay thick white head clear straw appearance some bubbles streaming up the glass Give it the smell test. I bought this in Texas. I don't see these quart bottles in Louisiana. Bready, barley, malt. And kind of a dense bready, barley, malt. <clears throat> Doesn't smell like it has adjuncts in it. Roasted, sort of a charcoal y type aroma. Interesting aroma, though. So let's give it the taste test. Roasted barley malt. Slight sweet character. It's lightly hopped. And that shows up in the at the end of the sip. You see it's got a lot of lacing around there. The head is sort of frothy. The mouthfeel is light and watery, and the finish is crisp. Mostly dry, but these Mexican beers tend not to be as dry as American beers, I find. <clears throat> you really get that cracker, that um, bread, just that more of a cracker. Well, of course, we know a cracker is bread flavor four and a half percent alcohol is uh, 
on the lower end, low to moderate end of beer, uh, what American beers would be at that level, uh, Keystone Premium, Miller High Life, Miller Genuine Draft, uh, <clears throat> perhaps Blue Ribbon, Old Milwaukee. So we're we're in that area. Similar in alcohol to uh, <coughs> Corona. It really has a nice aroma, <coughs> and look at all the lacing. I don't think this has any adjuncts in it. I think Beer Advocate is wrong. They are wrong sometimes. They're not the, they're not perfect, although they're good. Should have checked on Rate Beer and how they described it. This would go so well with Mexican food. Terrific, really. I mean, look at all the lacing. You're telling me, you're not going to convince me that this is some cheap, bad beer. Um, <clears throat> I think it's very good. I'm going to stick with the B plus rating. This is a very good beer. I have always enjoyed it. Good thing it comes in the brown bottle. Don't have to worry about skunkiness. <clears throat> so, Les Les Bon Temps Roulet, or Muy Bien, this is a very good beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans and go to the inaugural Fishing Rodeo.